uh, hello today I will tell you how to operate with uh, APM planner 2.0 uh, new version we will uh, see uh, how to use APM planner ground control station and Happy Kilmer ground control station we will need APM board XB for the plane XB on the ground station external battery uh, USB cable to connect our APM to the PC and uh, FTDA cable to connect uh, XB on the ground station to the PC moreover we will need a radio control transmitter uh, first of all let's start X-Plane when it's loading uh, let's connect uh, XB on the ground side we can see here uh, LEDs which indicates that the XB is turned on uh, next step uh, we turn on our transmitter connect XB model to the APM it's uh, already connected to the receiver and be sure that this switcher is uh, set to the flight mode it's uh, in this direction then we connect USB cable to the PC and connect it to the APM moreover we will need an additional power so I will use 5 volts battery uh, we can see that explain is already loaded so next step is opening Ardupilot Mega Planner you need to be sure that in options you have selected the right COM port as for me it's COM4 and the baud rate is set as you can see here uh, first of all open Ardupilot Sim Mavlink turn it here uh, select explain and uh, press connect now we can see here our graph which indicates uh, sticks positions so next we press action and planner map link let's place it here and create a simple mission let's set default altitude as uh, uh, 200 meters for example later radius is 60 and WP radius is 62 uh, let's place waypoint first here the second here the third here the fourth here and the fifth here and we uh, hit right WP So we written our mission and next we are starting GCS Mavlink. Let's place it here. Press tuning. Uh, now we can uh, fly. Uh, release brakes by pressing B and A to uh, select a uh, uh, nice view we uh, took off in manual mode we can see here our plane now I turn on autonomous mode And we can see that our plane uh, goes to the first waypoint. 
you can see my hands I have no them on transmitter they is off at the ground station we can see that planes uh, gets 200 meters altitude and now it goes to waypoint number two it is 400 meters left to it and our mode is auto for example let's look how we can modify our mission during the flight you can modify uh, the waypoints which are two waypoints uh, after the current waypoints so we can change only five waypoints now let's make it here and uh, hit right WPS Uh, the button is active again and uh, we know that it is uh, it has been written the plane turns and gives to the waypoint number five which we modified a few uh, seconds ago now the plane uh, goes through the waypoint number five and uh, now direction is to home we can see here a mode loitering so the plane will uh, circle over the home place at uh, the default altitude 200 meters uh, with loiter radius 60 meters it's 200 meters left let's zoom it and we can see that the plane starts to loiter so uh, using this uh, simulation uh, we uh, didn't use XB actually because uh, the all uh, flight information was sent via USB directly to the PC and uh, we will uh, need XB wireless telemetry when we will use uh, HK uh, ground control station uh, which we will do in the next uh, tutorial